Okay, we're back, and as you can see, we've got a battery here hooked to this bicycle. I'm going to go ahead and close in a little bit. You can see this is a 10 hour, uh, 10 amper hour lithium iron phosphate battery, and what that means is uh, that it's got a lithium iron phosphate chemistry. It's 48 volts, has 10 amper hours, and uh, should be good for about an hour or two of riding around, depending on how much I want to pedal. You can see that there are four wires coming off the battery. Uh, two of them are thinner gauge and are for the charger. Two of them are thicker gauge and go to the actual crank motor that's down there. We've got the charger plugged in right now, and as you can see over here, uh, once it gets your solid green light, it's actually done charging, uh, but you want to leave it plugged in for about an hour or two after it does that to let the 16 cells balance. There are 16 cells in series in this battery, and they have to balance internally afterwards. Now, this one's charged up, so we're going to go ahead and unplug the charger here, and we're going to turn it on. Okay, now power button's here. So you hold it down, it turns on the, the unit. And see, it gives you your battery life and all of that good stuff. Um, and you, before you ride it, you've got to get it set up. Now, in order to get into the setup menus, there's actually two setup menus. The first one you get to by holding down the plus and minus buttons for a couple seconds. Once you do that, takes you into a menu. First thing it asks you is uh, your units, whether you want to do miles per hour or kilometers. Um, pressing up or down changes that, of course, and then pressing power saves and moves to the next option. We're going to save this at miles per hour. The next thing it takes you into is your speed limit. Uh, 50 is the max that is allowed. I have not taken this uh, bike yet out yet, so I was going to do a little bit of testing, um, but if you want to keep it street legal, you can actually drop this down and it will software govern your speed. Uh, 30 kilometers an hour would be street legal for an e-bike uh, 20 miles per hour here in the United States, but uh, we're not going to turn that on quite yet. Next option is your backlight level, uh, up and down. We're going to leave it at two there. Move to the next option, which is to set the clock, uh, which we had already done earlier. And we're back to the normal screen. Okay, the last thing I want to show you here is the advanced setup menu. You get to it by first off going to the normal setup menu. And then once you're in the normal setup menu, you hold down plus and minus and you press the power button eight times. Once you do that, it takes you to a different menu, and now you can see it's asking me about tire sizes. Um, I believe 26 inches is the default, so that's what it's going to say when you get there. If you press minus, it goes down below that. You press up, it goes higher than that. We're going to set it at 700C, which is the tire size that we've got on this bike. Move to the next option, which is uh, OFT. Now, a uh, note about the tire size is if you pick the wrong tire size, your speedometer is not going to be right. Um, you can do that on purpose if you want the unit to go a little bit faster. If you want to bypass that governor and get faster than 50 kilometers an hour, we, I don't really care about that. Um, the next option here is OFT. It's set to 6 there. That's how many minutes it waits before it turns off after you stop using it. Uh, we're going to leave it at 6. And the next option is DH. That's how many assist levels we've got. Uh, you can go all the way down to three, 2 or all the way up to 9. Uh, we're going to save it at 6 and be done. And now you can see I'm back at the normal screen. So that's the advanced setup menu. Once you've got that set up, uh, you know your speedometer is going to be right because the tire size is set correctly and uh, gives you all your options that you should only have to set once. And we're done.